uh, now we'll have to run msf console oh come on mm. technical issues demand our attention and we have to update some gems yeah oh everything is broken again okay not a problem i have it in some other way right cd tools Metasploit framework will it work from here? Yeah, that's once again a reason not to update anything while you are on engagement. Yeah, at least it's running. Okay, so uh, here. Right, let's start up the PostgreSQL. Come on, come on. This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. It's already started, but MSF console cannot access it. Or can it? It can't. Okay, doesn't matter. We won't uh, need the speed of access uh, provided by PostgreSQL database. So, uh, we will need the IP address of this machine, right, to regenerate the payload. Okay. Let's use uh, the same one. Oh, HTTPS, yeah, 32. <laughs> and set L host to our IP. Okay. And run. It will generate payload 4.exe, I think. Yeah, this is basically the path of trial and error that uh, you have to take in order to generate everything required. Uh, and uh, with practice comes excellence, right? So let's copy it. And see whether we are lucky again okay so good so far uh, let's uh, configure our handler Mm. 
L port was uh, like this, right? Okay. So run and wait for connections. Yeah. So as you can see everything is okay we're in and the interpreter is deployed like a charm yeah and this is like the basic uh, windows configuration with the uh, pc state is protected and so on so um, microsoft security essentials was uh, a good antivirus once but uh, they are certainly not paying much attention uh, heuristically you could uh, identify this attack easily by connections outgoing uh, and the stager downloading and uh, basically there were no stagers so uh, we can uh, start our, our uh, normal uh, post execution work uh, post exploitation uh, procedures lateral move movement and so on so uh, as you can see it is pretty much effective. So, uh, what are the other ways to create an antivirus proof payload? Uh, there is this thing called uh, Microsoft Venom. Yeah, so uh, previously you had to create a payload with Microsoft uh, Payload Generator, then uh, encode it somehow. Uh, Shikata Ganai was the encoder of uh, choice and now you can basically do anything. You can take a, an executable file and uh, inject your code into it and uh, in this way like repackage an executable in order to still look uh, legitimate. Yeah, but already contain some stager that will call back to your handler and then download the rest of your agent. So everything everything evolves quite quickly in the Metasploit world and this MSF Venom, I will just show you what you can do with it. Uh, so there is a multitude of different options, but uh, first of all, you have to know that there is this payload that in our case was Metarpreter. right uh, and uh, you can list uh, available payloads as well so after you choose the payload you have to choose the encoder right so let's say it's uh, x86 shikata ganai and uh, then you put a format like in Z and uh, you can choose architecture but most probably it will uh, already guess it from the encoder we've selected and uh, then we can customize the number of iterations to encode and then we will output it to payload uh, five right what else i think that's it let's see what happens oh no we have to provide some some options right we have to at least provide the local host to connect right and the report will be like this oh okay fire it takes some time and uh, let's try to copy Oh, 
it's not here something went wrong right oh yeah <laughs> so you see it's it's just written into this file ut let's just move it to share the payload 5.exe okay now it's here yeah <laughs> so definitely it's less secure I mean it's secure for your operational security uh, it is easily found by Windows Defender and uh, I think that's it for this demonstration you can still use some external templates existing executables that uh, you will inject the payloads from uh, Metasploit 2 but as you uh, see it is not really practical for production reasons yet to, to, for using in actual engagements to generate these payloads by uh, still by uh, Metasploit there are tools that are better fit for that and uh, one of uh, those tools definitely is uh, PyInstaller and the uh, Veil framework that employs that uh, obfuscation mechanism.